back with another video. Today, we'll be looking at what FLO is. Now, a lot of people that follow my channel probably already know what it is, but as a beginner to FLO, I would have loved to have a video to tell me what FLO was and give me a general idea of what to do for the season. So, without further ado, let's get started. Bader Matters. Essentially, COPA asks you to take a hard stand on whether your channel is made for kids or not made for kids. And I am kind of torn because FLL is intended for kids and kids learning, but many coaches and mentors watch my channel, and I hope to inform them too. So I said that my channel was not made for kids, and although the beginning says it was intended for coaches and mentors, kids can still watch. Thank you. Lego League, and it's a corporation owned by First, a company that has over 21 different competitions to help build youth and character. FLL has three main parts, the robot game, the project, and the core values, which we will get into. You will form a team, work together, and in the end, go to a competition and show off your skills, enthusiasm, and team spirit to the judges, mentors, parents, and other teams. Let's get started with what FLL really is. There are three main parts to FLL. Every year, there will be an overarching theme. This theme will change a lot in the season, and it's ranged anywhere from animals, to water, to building cities. As I said before, there are three main parts. The robot game, the project, and the core values. In the robot game, your team will have to program and design a robot to perform tasks, to score points, and to complete missions, which are based on the year's theme, on, on a challenge table. In the project, you will have to identify a problem based on the year's theme, whether that be space, water, or animals. Then you will have to research the problem and create an innovative solution, and share it with the judges, a, a professional in the area, and other teams. In the core values, you have discovery, innovation, impact, inclusion, teamwork, and fun. These are many skills and qualities that you need to succeed as people and in the real world, and as a team, which first wants you to show in FLL. Season usually goes with FLL. Although this might not apply with your team, for many teams I've seen, this is what happens. In the beginning of the year, teams usually get together and they'll work on meeting times, so basically getting the team started. They get to know each other, and they'll start working on building the missions to be placed on the mission table, because until you do that, you can't work with the robot. In the middle of the year, teams will usually work on their project presentations, programming, and building the robot, and implementing the core values while working. This is what many people think of when they think of a working team in FLL, everyone getting together and working on their parts. At the end of the year, teams are usually finalizing their presentations, robots, and getting ready for the competition. The competition is where you'll get to show off your robot, your pro project, and your team's core values, spirit, and enthusiasm. Part of the entire year, the competition. The entire FLL season builds up to very w one very exciting, fun, and energized competition. They are grouped in regionals, states and countries, and worlds. Every team is given a schedule to follow and a table where you can place their items. Following your schedule, you can show your project to the judges, perform your robot at the robot game table, and go to the core values judging room. You'll have many breaks in between to get together with your team and have fun, and you'll get lunch breaks. At states, it is usually a two-day th two thing, and at states, you have one day for the project and core values, and another day for the robot game. You'll have many breaks throughout that. You get to show off what you've done the entire season to parents, coaches, mentors, judges, and even other teams. This is your chance to show your hard work, enthusiasm, and team spirit. Every team will go to a regional, and depending on how many teams there are, more or less will go to your state or country competition. A small number of those teams will move on to the World Festival, which is a very exciting competition that is held in the U.S. Looking at a basic overview of what FLL is, let's see what you have to do to make a team. Every team will have to pay about $235 for a registration fee in the beginning of the year, whether you're a beginning team or a veteran team. You'll also have to pay about $100 for the year's challenge set, meaning the tables and other requirements. 
You also have to pay $500 for the LEGO EV3 kit. This is essentially your robot. The team gets to keep the challenge that they buy as well as your LEGO EV3 kit, so veteran teams can expect to pay less. Registration fees will have to be paid every year, and there can be additional fees for whether your team makes it to the next competition, such as states, countries, and worlds, etc. New teams can expect to pay around $800, and veteran teams will have to pay a great deal less with a total around $350. These budgets may change, whether it be greater or less, but it is around the same every single year. A brief rundown of what FLL really is, but in future videos I will probably be going over into more detail about the robot game, the project, the core values, other team requirements, and what the competition is really like. I hope you enjoyed this week's video, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button, smash the bell, and hit the notification to never miss another video. Thank you, bye!